Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm gonna be finishing up my around my entertainment center. But first I wanna show you a little haul. So let's just get into this video. So this is what happens when you stop at Ulta to pick up hairspray because you're out. And there's a spirit Halloween next door to Ulta. Michael's is down the street. And of course the Dollar Tree is right next door. So I've been looking for this particular item at Dollar Tree. It actually means a lot to me and I haven't been able to find it. And I'm gonna show you what it is right here in this next footage. So yeah, I'm on the hunt for that pumpkin October 16th framed picture. It's very nostalgic for me. My mom's birthday is October 16th. Her dad is from I Ireland. He migrated over. We have a lot of Irish in our family. And I lost my mom a couple years ago and her birthday is October 16th. So I've been hunting high and low trying to find that picture. So I figured I'll just stop into Dollar Tree and of course it wasn't there, but I want to show you what I did get, which I thought was really cool. So they were just putting some stuff out and this was Sunday, you guys. So I put up my spooky Sunday video. I don't normally make another video on the same day, but I am and I'm doing it. Um, I will probably post this on Monday or Tuesday, depending upon when I get done decorating my entertainment center area, but look at this spell book. So you open it, there's another spell book. You open it, there's a smaller spell book and another one. I just thought this was so cute. Now they were putting these out and they sell them individually. They don't sell them as a set. So that's probably why no one has ever showcased them like this before. I just thought it was so cute to like surprise my daughter or do something special and put something, you know, inside each box. And then she has to open it up. I don't know. We'll see how I'm gonna do that because inside of a box is another box. So in the very inside, I'll probably put a surprise. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do yet, but I thought it was very, very cute. They had other styles as well. They had a, um, apothecary book too which I almost did get but I just figured my daughter would like this one better and I did get this for her so I thought it was adorable to surprise her doing something so so moving on to Michael's I went into Michael's because finishing up around my entertainment center area I really like this Ashland Garland I used it in my entryway on the lower part of my shelf if you haven't watched that video, I will link it in the description box and you can see how I decorated there. But this is 40% off. So $14.99 minus the 40% off. I really like all the detail. I like how sturdy and durable it is. Here's a sparkly flower on it. So I went and grabbed another one of those. And then I grabbed these little guys because when I do my apothecary shelf I like to have all kinds of different floral items that are spooky so I grabbed three of these and these were actually 50% off normally $3.99 now I have been getting some questions in my comments why don't I show the prices well sometimes I can't show the prices on everything you guys I'm showing you where the items are available at you can go on the websites to look as well, or maybe I already showed a video um, when I went in store showcasing all of those items. So if I have, I usually link that in the description box, or if I don't talk about prices in the video, I will link prices in the description box of the video. So there's a number of different ways that you can find out the prices. I try and be very good on telling you where I get the items from. So at least you can look it up for yourself. So I don't leave you guys blindsided. I, I know I at least tell you where an item is from. 
So apologies to the few that have asked, we need to see prices on everything. Well, if I showed you prices on every single item that I showcased in my video, we'd be here all day. So I do the best I can. I am on oxygen and I do the best I can making the video. So I hope you guys can all appreciate that. The next item I did get was I did go get some more of these. They're on sale for 40% off. I did show these in my decorate my entryway video. I love them so much. They're battery operated, light up. They aren't attached together. So I kind of want to use these and incorporate something in my bedroom to surprise my boyfriend around our TV that's kind of spooky. Him and I watch a lot of scary movies when he's home. And, you know, it'd just be kind of nice to have something spooky decorated around our TV. I did grab the last set. And this is something that I had mentioned before that I passed by when I first saw it when I did a Michaels video. But then I got to thinking about it. They're battery operated. You can separate them. And, you know, they're not going to break. And I really like them. So I was thankful to see another box of them. So if you see these in your Michaels store, grab them. They are worth it. They're really cool. And I just love how they light up. And there is the original price and they are 40% off. Now the next thing I got at Michael's was this candle pitcher. I had seen this a few other times and I really liked it. It caught my eye, but I, again, it's something that I just passed up. It was normally $19.99 and I got it again on sale for 40% off. And they had a bunch of them. So you guys, I'm gonna show some footage right here. I feel like my, it was like my store just got restocked. I'm like dumbfounded how they still have almost everything still in stock, including that witch picture, the frame that goes around the witch picture. I'm gonna show the fitted footage. I only took a little, but I'm gonna insert that right here. So don't give up. Or if you're looking for a particular item, Go on michaels.com because they will pull from locations that have that item if it's an item you're searching for. So I decided to go ahead and get this. I know I'll, I'll use it somewhere and I just thought it was very spooky. So I did get that. Hi you guys, here I am at Michaels. I cannot believe all the decor they still have. I was completely shocked to be honest as we're getting towards the end of our Halloween shopping, well, at least for some, I feel like this time last year, everything was selling out, but here it's still fully stocked. Here they still had the witch picture, so they had to have restocked that because when I was in store a few weeks ago, they did not have it, so I know for sure they restocked. Now, I don't remember seeing this cute little sign and there were a few items that I did not remember seeing last time. I did almost get that potion and spell sign, but as I've said before in my past videos, I get tired of a lot of words around my house and I really don't need another sign. I feel like Michael's this season though is still my favorite. Last year it was Michael's as well. This year I think Michael's has won again as far as my favorite decor. They still had a lot of the tombstone for the Sleepy Hollow decorating. And the reason why I'm zooming on these pumpkins is because you can paint those and make them look like that Pottery Barn dupe, the terracotta look. And here are those frames, not sold out. They got some more in. Again, they had to have because I bought the last frame when I was in a few weeks ago when I did a haul from Michael's. I thought these were kind of cool. They were all turned upside down so I turned them back right side up. It's a sand timer or whatever you want to call them. I can't think of the name right now. I always forget what those are called. But just real quickly I'm going to give you kind of an overview. They had a lot of stuff still in store and I was very very surprised. Not sure if anyone's interested, but I use the Shaper Hairspray by Sebastian. I've been using this since I was like 16 years old, you guys. 
and I'm a very old lady right now. So um, this is my go-to hairspray. It is very thin. It combs out of your hair. It holds curl. It's not sticky. I've just been using this for years. So I do not like the Shaper Plus. It is too sticky. It has to be the original Shaper. So, and I always use a coupon at Ulta. And if they have a deal, I get two of them. And then this is a nail polish I got. This is the nail polish I actually have on my fingers right now. I haven't gone in to get my nails done because I've been trying to cut back and save some money with all my Halloween shopping. But this is the brand Zoya. This is the name. And I don't get pedicures. I'm not a pedicure girl. And I'm sure there's some of you that are probably sitting there falling back in your chairs going, what? I paint my own toenails. I'm just very ticklish on my feet. And if I were to go get a pedicure, I'd probably be laughing the entire time hysterically. So I have never ever my entire life ever had a pedicure. So I always paint my own toenails. So this is a color that I really like that I use on my toenails. And just because I haven't gotten my nails done in a while, I put some on my nails. But as you can see, it does chip off. This is probably a week old. Um, gel, that's why I like gel nail polish because it stays on so much better. But I've been trying to do it old school to save a little bit of money. So this is the color that I bought and restocked for myself today because I feel like it looks kind of magical, kind of October, kind of witchy. So I really like this color. All right, and I went into Spirit Halloween on a mission. I've been in there a couple times. If you watch my channel, you know I've done a lot of video footage in there. I was on a mission to find this shirt and I had a 20% off coupon. I just really love Michael Myers and the Halloween movie. I love the way this shirt looked. And as I left, I thought to myself, I should have got two because my daughter is gonna want this. I know she is, but she doesn't live in Arizona. And it is pretty pricey. It is $39. And with your 20% off coupon, it comes to like $32. So I did not want to pick up a second one at the time. If they have another one later on, I may go back and get her one. But I just think it's really cute with the flannel hanging out. I've been wanting this. And they also have a Scream um, shirt. That's the same kind of style. It has the flannel peeking out and it says scream. So I went ahead and got this and this is the only thing that I did get at Spirit. I was on a mission going in there to look solely for that because every time I've gone in, they have not had this. So excited to have that. Okay, when I came home, I had a couple packages on my porch, one of them being from Joann's. Now Joann's is getting me, you guys. So I don't know if any of you remember or know about the black skull moon dish from there. I've been trying to find that. It's sold out everywhere. So I see it online and then I go to place an order and add a few more things to the order to save on shipping or if they have a good deal at the time. And that's what happened with my last Joann's order. And they canceled that item. I literally received my order two weeks later because we all know Joann's can be a little slower at shipping. Um, but I literally received my order two weeks later and they said that the moon skull dish was canceled because it sold out. And so I was like, man, that was like the main reason why I did the Joann's order. So this time I saw that it was available again. So I went ahead and order, but in this order, they didn't send it. And it says that skull dish is still processing. I will show you a picture right here, what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's the skull moon dish that I'm after from my office. I just really wanted it. I should have got it a long time ago when I saw it available online, but I was spending money in other places, so I never did. So I'm gonna show you what I ended up getting today, but my Skull Moon dish is not in this order because it says it's still processing, but I kind of have a feeling they're gonna email me and say it was canceled because it's sold out. 
Okay, this is what I ordered. I don't know if you remember, it was way back when the Halloween shopping season started. I kind of admired this garland. I really liked it. I was saying how I like the orange and the black. I don't like the shimmering, sparkly effect. This stuff right here though. So I might take these off because I do not like those at all. And just have it with the orange pumpkins and the black leaves. So I got two of these. And then you guys, I feel like such a dork. So again, my mom's birthday is October 16th. I wasn't paying attention or I must not have had my glasses on. I thought this was a legit pumpkin like ceramic statue that I was getting. And they sent me this. I do not want this. So I'm like, what the heck? How did I even get that? Because this isn't something I would normally um, pick up for myself. So I'm probably going to send that back. I don't really want that or take it back to the store, I mean, because this isn't what I wanted. The next thing I got was, I keep forgetting to get this. I have seen it in my store and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to get that. It's this little tray. I love how it's wood and it looks very, like, I don't want to say vintage -y, but it looks spooky, outdoorsy. I just really like it, so... I went ahead and got that. And then I got some fabric um, tack glue because I have some projects I'm gonna be doing and I will show you what those projects are when I get closer to that video time, but I did get this for that project. And that was it, that's all I got from Joann's. I'm still, fingers crossed, hoping I get that Skull Moon dish but I'm not going to hold my breath on it. And I can't believe that I got this. I literally thought it was actual pumpkin statue. So yeah, this is going back. All right, now let's get into the finishing decorating around my entertainment center. All right, you guys, here I am back working at my entertainment center area to finish decorating it. Now in years past, I have done the bats going up and around where this pottery barn floral bouquet is. I have always had the bats going up and around, but I did that in my entryway. So I kind of wanted to do something different and have them look like they're coming out of the TV. So this is what I have so far. All right, so this is what I have so far. I have all the bats up to make it look like they're flying out of the TV. My branches, these are from Pottery Barn again. They were $25 a piece, if I remember correctly. And I got them about four years ago. And they are on a timer or you can turn them off and on, but I have mine set to a timer. And then the silver and black branches are just extra floral stakes I stuck in there. So this is what I have so far. Now I'm gonna dust off my TV stand so in all honesty, we don't really watch TV that much in our living room since I've been sick. Um, and it's kind of a bad memory for me too because when I came home from the hospital, because I couldn't walk, I slept on the couch. I came home via ambulance and I just spent about a month out here on the couch. I don't like our couch. And also when my mom lived with us and I took care of her, she sat out here on the couch all the time. So it's just kind of some hard memories for me. So when we watch movies when we're home, we tend to like cozy up and watch movies in our bedroom. 
so we're hardly ever out here. This is just more for decor. Um, I do have a white sectional. I would rather have out here than my leather brown sectionals I have, but they are stored away in the garage and I can't get to them because they are buried. But anyways, enough rambling. This is what I have so far. I'm gonna dust this off. All right, you guys, this is how it is looking. So this witch I got, gosh, at least 20 years ago, maybe 15. Um, my daughter is 26, so I got it when she was probably five years old. So yeah, probably about 20 years ago, I got it at Hallmark. So don't forget about Hallmark, you guys. Sometimes the Hallmark store, I know they're hard to find these days. We only have one. We used to have a few Hallmark home stores you could go in. Those were the good old days when you could actually go into like a Hallmark store and buy a card. I miss those. It's so nice to get a card in the mail versus a text message or a picture. It's just kind of more personable. And I'm so glad that I have cards that I saved over the years from my parents. Because if technology was what it was today, when I was younger, I would be so sad if I didn't have those memories to look back from my parents. So I feel like we lose sight of that sometimes. So sometimes people still do want to receive cards and I still go to the dollar store and buy cards for people and mail them. So my really good friend just had a birthday actually and I sent her a few different cards at different times to surprise her because she's been feeling kind of down. And so I sent her a card a couple days apart to cheer her up as well as a birthday present. So, you know, cards mean a lot to people. It's the smallest things, you know, you guys. So just saying. So here's what it looks like. These are my Pier 1 Imports little moon uh, balls. They're battery operated. Gosh, I almost passed these up at Pier 1. And they're like my favorite piece of decor I put out every year. And these silver stands are just candle holders that I got when I worked years ago at Dillard's. They were on clearance and I picked them up. So this is my um, Maidenville statue from At Home. My Michael Myers tombstone, I got at Spirit like four years ago. These were last no, two years ago, Michael's. This is the garland I bought today. I like it because it's thick and fluffy. Again, Michael's, Michael's. And I already told you where I got the bat stems. I got them at Pottery Barn. The bats are from Kirkland's over here. Actually, I'm gonna show you that in a second because I wanna do one more thing. All right, you guys, this is an overview of my entertainment center area. Now, I did not get to dust the lower part just because I'm not gonna keep telling you about my health issues, but being on oxygen when I bend over for long periods of time, it's hard for me to do that, so I'm going to have to clean that in a, a, another time. I have to sit in a chair and take everything out and dust it. So um, I do plan on doing a Halloween tour when my house is fully decorated. So you may or not may or may not see some tweaks and changes. I did put my light up pumpkins over here. I got these off of a company called Through the Country Door. And then there is my skull plant holder. Now also what I was gonna do with that skull plant holder was if, I don't know, like 10 videos back from the at-home store, I was seeing how I wanted to make a witch's dress out of a tree, like make the tree her body and on top have like a 
like a bus part and a spooky dress. And you know how Cracker Barrel, their spooky tree had a skull for the bottom? Yeah, I was thinking of making that, the witch's face, and making like a spooky tree, but I just, I've run out of time, you guys. I wanna just get into my decorating videos. I'm at my shopping limit as far as spending money. So there's an idea if somebody else wants to create it. I do have the outfit for the witch. I just haven't had a chance to find the tree. So I will probably pick one up on clearance this season and maybe do something like that next year. But I have so much Halloween decor, you guys. This isn't even half of it. So, but what do you think? Let me know. I'm gonna turn the lights off. So you can see what it looks like. I am thinking of putting some light in the garland. And last season I did, last Halloween, I did put purple light behind the TV actually. So it illuminated. I might do that with some orange or clear lights. I haven't decided yet on the color. But also if, if we are out here and we do decide to watch a movie out here, I don't want all the decor around the TV to take away from the spookiness of the movie if everything is lit up because a lot of times my boyfriend and I like to watch our scary movies in the dark and every if everything is too lit up, it doesn't make it cozy if you know what I mean. So, all right. So in the future video, if I do a house tour, you may or may not see the garland lit up a little bit more. Oh, and then here is my other pumpkin on this side over here so all right I'm gonna turn the lights off and let me know what you think in the comments below Till the next one, happy haunting.